Hello, my name is Yiru Chen. I'm a horticulturist with the Queensland Department of Agriculture and Fisheries. This video is one of two short videos dealing with regraphing monitoring data. This video shows you how to regraph data using Microsoft Excel 2013, while the other one shows you why you should consider regraphing. These guys export us through the process of assessing and regraphing temperature monitoring data to undertake analysis and make decisions about changes to your supply chain management with partners. This is the second video in our two-part series on regraphing temperature data. This video includes 10 steps to regraph data, which are exported in all possible formats from different logger systems. Follow this template, or use the process to make your own template, so that you can regraph monitoring data within 5 minutes. Data in some loggers might be exported in PDF file, in which they cannot be copied and pasted. Here is an example. There are some online free web pages which can convert PDF to Excel instantly. We can just Google keyword PDF to Excel and choose the first one. That's pdf to excel.com and upload the file. Free download to save as temp data. Now here we are. Then we organize data by realign them into single columns for easier graphing. Right click to create a new column. We can easily combine date and time using formula. Date time. and use the formula C2 equals A2 plus B2 and double click to apply the formula to the whole column. Remember to check date time format because loggers have different formats for displaying date and time while Excel requires a standard format to recognize the date and times. After highlighting the column, Right click Format Sales and choose Date, Month, Year, Hour, and Minute type under Custom Category. Please pay attention to the time zone. If your date time is in Universal Time Clock, that's UTC, we need to convert them into Australia Eastern Standard Time, which is UTC plus 10 hours. Create a new column and type in date time AEST and then type 10 hours in a blank cell. Use the formula D2 equals C2 plus $G$2. Use the dollar sign to lock the cell and apply the formula for the whole column. If the data has degree C on the end of the temperature, Excel will think it is at text entry and won't graph it properly. Use Find and Replace function to replace the degree C symbol with blank. Some data and data use dash as the separator. We need to use Find and Replace function to replace all dash with slash. Make sure that Excel recognizes that daytime format. In some data file, we can see there are green triangle on top left of temperature data cells. This means those numbers are stored as text. We should convert them into numbers. 
We can do this quickly by clicking Text to Columns under Data Menu and Finish. Before graphing, we should delete data that recorded before and after the logger was inserted. Please find out this information from supply chain partners, whoever inserted and removed the loggers. Now we can start graphing. We'll select all data under Inset menu and choose Scatter Chart. Sometimes when we have more than two columns data, we need to group them manually. We can check each data series by right-clicking the graph and choosing Select Data. Click on Series. When we are checking, we can give the series a name. For example, we can call it Logger1. And in this case, we need to add series 2 manually. We could name it as logger2. And select relevant data to be graphed. Click OK. For better layout, we need to trim the start, end, and intervals for daytime axis. Double click on graph's horizontal axis. Click the last symbol under axis options to adjust the maximum and minimum bounds value. Value 1 here means one day. Auto value in major means the number of days for daytime interval. Auto value in minor means the number of days for minor vertical grid lines. If we want to make daytime label easier to read, click on graph's horizontal axis. Select the third symbol under axis options. Set minus 30 degree for custom angle. Same steps as trimming daytime axis. Adjust bounds and units value to trim temperature range appropriately. Click on the graph. There is a plus symbol on top right corner. Take access titles and chart title. Click grid lines and take primary minor horizontal and primary minor vertical. Also take the legend we can also translocation legend to bottom, left, or top. I prefer to put it at top. For the vertical axis, we call it temperature, degree C. And for horizontal axis, we put daytime. The chart title of this graph could be Mango to Korea. Then adjust font size to make all titles and the legend clear to read. Set up a range with X and Y values in a blank area on the same Excel sheet. The X value ranges from start to end date of recording. The Y value corresponds to your temperature limit. For Mango, we could put 13 degree here. Then right click on the graph, choose Select Data and add Type series name and choose X and Y values. We can call it ideal temperature. Click OK. We can see there's a line here. And we can choose red color for the ideal temperature if we want to make it stand out. The 
last step is to use insert function to insert arrows and text box to the graph. We can type critical information in each text box to keep record. For example, on 12th of December, for depart pack shade, and on 14th of December. arrive freight forwarder and then use the same functions to label all critical stages that's a final graph